Hi, I'm Jeff Gray. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Glue Networks. It's a pleasure to be here and thank you very much for your time. Uh, we have some very exciting things to talk about and some announcements that we've just made at the show and uh, really looking forward to getting started. So first of all, just a little overview and then I will get out of the way and let uh, our esteemed team uh, take over. Uh, there's been a lot of enterprise investments in digitization, in instru instrumentation, and analytics. However, responding is really still a manual effort. And enterprises are digitizing their assets to allow business to flow more freely. Uh, they're instrumenting their networks to be able to understand what is going well and what is going wrong in terms of packet flows. And then they're also installing analytics to be able to look at you know, 10 million alerts and funnel them down to the 10 or 20 that matter. However, responding is still a manual effort. And so Glue is focused on really what we believe and our customers are telling us is the next frontier, which is moving from manual to autonomic change. And if we look at where enterprises currently are, feature sets are going through the roof, complexity is increasing, agility and speed of service delivery are decreasing dramatically, and IT staff is remaining flat. And so enterprises are saying, look, we are at a deadlock. We need to do something different. And currently, after a survey that Cisco just published, 80% of IT time and 67% of budget is focused on OPEX and operational cost. And so if we look at a single vendor environment, it's hard enough to bring automation within even a pocket of the network, but creating automation across all the different multi-vendor silos in a vendor agnostic manner that allows enterprises to truly respond, whether it be all the way from the data center, WAN, or LAN, this is something that has just not happened yet in the networking world. And we are very focused on this problem. So my final slide, before we start to share what we've built, is that we have a solution, we have a platform that is the first uh, model-driven, multi-vendor, software-defined network orchestration platform that allows enterprises to really control their networks in a new way. And it simplifies network complexity from the perspective that they can data model what they have without adding another box, without redeploying, a way to be able to code and bring a layer of automation to whatever brownfield environments they currently have. Once that data model is created and the intent is in the model and there's two-way communication between the Glueware engine and platform down to any device or any controller, then network lifecycle management costs can be reduced dramatically because now it's model driven, make a change, and a policy is able to be pushed with error checking and, and healing and understanding that exact intent is actually delivered to that device. And so this is a way to boost agility. Now it can be done very quickly. Some of our customers have spent a long time doing quality of service changes, you know, paying outsourced uh, companies a lot of money to do this, and there's still errors and there's still downtime. If you're able to make a quas change across your entire WAN environment, your entire LAN environment, regardless of switch, regardless of vendor, and to understand the exact state that it's in, there's a lot of value there that our customers are telling us. And also, with the rapid development environment that we have called Glueware Lab, this is a way that network engineers can go in and be able to build data models in what we call formulas that they can go and model and validate whatever they have in their network and be able to push that into production into glue or control to now perform life cycle management and orchestration. And the key things that we are now announcing at the show is that one, we've now come with 13 different multi-vendor packages uh, and operating systems. So we'll go into that in a moment. It's also in our press release, but 13 vendors and our plan is to be able to add a new vendor uh, every three weeks and be able to orchestrate whatever is in the brownfield environment. We now also have data center, we have WAN and LAN. We started in the WAN, we wanted to tackle one of the most challenging environments where everything's distributed, you know, there's a lot of latency issues, a lot of, a lot of heterogeneous uh, environments. And so we tackled WAN first, now we've expanded into both campus as well as data center. We have historically only been cloud-based and multi-tenant. And now we are both. We're both cloud-based as well as on-prem. For the largest customers, they want a behind-the-firewall solution. And at this show, we are now delivering that. And the fourth and potentially the most exciting thing is yesterday morning, we launched the Glueware community. And this has been about three and a half years in the making. 
And the concept is to allow network engineers and developers to be able to come into the community, share best practices, collaborate, not reinvent the wheel. And we're putting a bunch of different vendor examples of how you do this. And so network engineers and developers can start to codify their own architectures, validate it, and share it if they choose or keep it private if they choose. So uh, very excited about the community. And um, we're just really happy to be able to make some changes in the networking world and deliver value. So